All right, so Lauren and I are gonna go gather these cows up. We're gonna bring them back up, come across through the river, or by the river, down. We gotta go through some longhorn cows and take them over them. We're gonna work them through the chute and put some fly spray on them. We'll get these calves up. And then we'll let their mothers get a hold of them. And then we'll just see if we can get them all to leave together. Come here, Lion. We'll give them a little time to see this. We'll give them time to go find their mothers. Their mother pick their calves up. <clears throat> and then they walk off and leave. And we're going to try to move them in a way where we don't distract that. So I'm going to cross over here where the cows, every one of them switches eyes. Hey, come here, Lion. That's silver. And we'll switch across here. And that gives them a chance to pick me up and now uh, they're not used to two people so we'll we'll uh, we'll get them started here moving get back dogs get out and then we'll just get their direction and pretty soon they'll line out and go that's our job we're gonna try to get them to string and just move on out I'm gonna ride across here, good. Silver. So our dogs will distract them with these cows and calves, especially this one cow right here. She's a dog fighter. So I got to keep my dogs back here. And Silver doesn't like to stay back. She likes to be busy. Okay, so here we want them to turn across to their left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride in front of Lauren and I'm going to try to draw that front one's eye right across here. So you'll see there. Now they're drawn across. And now I can just step up here and, and send them back that way. I'll draw them across again. Silver, come here. Right about here, i got to come across. That should draw their eye to the left. That little red cow, you saw her draw her eye. Taco's right in the way. I'll send them across. And now I'll come right back across this way. Come here, Taco. And I'll send him across through there. If Taco wasn't in the way, that would have worked out perfectly. Now I got my little bull. He's a herding on things. Come here, line. Come on, line. There, now we got him headed towards our trail. And I'll just step across here. Get these guys started. I'll let that little red cow, she'll be my lead. We'll send her right over there on that trail. Good. So we'll get our lead started where we want them to go and then we send everything to follow. Just like that now. So I got my lead, so I'm always thinking about the front. Start your lead and then get the other cattle to follow it. And that'll cause them to kind of string out and go. Now the little bull, he be, there's another bull over here, uh, this longhorn bull, we're going to drive him through. And he's, when you get two bulls, sometimes that's where you get this, he jumped in a couple of times. And now my little miniature bull, he wants to, uh, he wants to go ahead and herd my cows. Okay, you can just keep them coming, Lauren. So Lauren will... I didn't stop their movement. Their movement was already stopped. The little bull had stopped them. So I went up here. Come here, Silver. And Lauren's got to just send them on. And now I got to get them started from the side here. Which is now the back. There we go. Now I can, if I go here, if Lauren comes right with me, we'll just go straight out here and you'll see that'll send them to their left without stopping their movement. And then we can ride right back to it. Now I'll go out wide here to send these back across. Not go forward, but I'm gonna go out wide so I can push their eye straight and send them on. Now this ride right across the back. That'll start my movement up. Step across here to send these guys through. Good, now I gotta come this way to draw them down the road, just like that, perfect. 
So you're controlling a lot of stuff back here. Good. Good, so now I'm watching my lead cow, the little red cow. She's the lead right now. That could change any moment. But she's the lead. Now the, the big black cow is the lead. So she's drawing them the other direction, so I'll get her pointed where I want them to go. So she's going back now. She's going back where she should. Now Lauren can send those up. So you're always keeping the movement flowing with my leaders. And it's hard to understand what I'm doing here. I don't even understand what I'm doing. <laughs> Good, now the little red cow's the lead again. So now we're just sending cattle to her. So now it's my job to keep cattle going to the red cow and it's Lauren's job to keep the red cow pointed where she needs to be pointed because she's the lead cow now. And I'll just keep the movement going to them. And that's how you control movement from the back and direction. So now the little red cow's the lead. So all we're doing is sending the, now she, the lead is going the wrong direction. So now, yep, she went straight, so we don't have to do anything about it, but I saw it coming. And we'll figure out a route to straighten these cows out. Good. Good, now, gotta keep, you gotta keep changing and moving so they don't start looking back. If you keep changing, they'll keep looking forward. But if we just get straight in behind and start roping heels or whatever we do back here, then our cows start forgetting about what's out in front, start thinking about us, trying to find us. You take their mind off of what you're doing. Now right here, the big black cow's a lead. So I'm gonna step out this way so I can keep pushing through the gate. I'm gonna keep pressure on the gate right at the gate, not back here, right at the gate. And that sends these cows forward that it gives their calves enough time to have, have room to go or they don't feel threatened in the bunch and start trying to run back out of there. So how you go through a gate is real important for keeping calves mothered and, and paired up. Not that mine are mothered and paired up, but they're still with the bunch. They're pretty mothered and paired up. The little red calf, he's, his mother's a, a good walker. So now, Lauren's gonna get the feel of this, but I'm gonna, so you can guard this side, and I'll step out here, and you can just keep them coming by riding back and forth through them. And I'm gonna step over here, I, we've got our camera crew out in front, so they're gonna change things, so I'm gonna be up here to help drive them right on by any distractions we have, and that would be whatever a dog barking or whatever, but now, so Lauren keeps them moving from the back and so do the dogs, and I'm just gonna keep sending. We got a horse whinnying up there, now my horse is spooked of, <laughs> of all this it's junk. Garbage, which should be spooked about that. Okay, now Lauren, she, she just kept that side moving. The camera crew stopped this side, but Lauren's keeping that side. Now, if she'll just come right back to me, she'll send these right on up. That's perfect. Good. Now, we don't want them to go through that gate. Hustle over here and stop that. And we got our lead there. See, that little little one has changed and become the lead. And so we're just going to keep feeding the movement to her. There, I'm going to send these guys across. And just get them committed to the gate. Now, you're going to bring them to me. Once I get up here, and I'll open the gate. We're going to start our movement again after we get through the gate and now 
we'll figure out where our lead is. So now it looks like the little bull's the lead because he's looking for the other bull or other cows. And just by sitting there now, we just want to turn this cow. I want her mind to go on the cow that are leaving. We'll see if her little buddy can, her baby can jump the, he might be, he might get high centered. Oh, that was a heck of a jump. <laughs> this is checkers. When you're out in the middle of the pasture getting things to move, all you're doing is observing and seeing where you need to put some pressure. So this is easy. It's a checkers game. When we get to the corral, or through a gate or something else, it becomes a chess game. See, now I got to step over here because by me being out there, I was sending them to the right. So Lauren will just follow my lead and she's going to go out. We're going to go straight out. Come here, Silver. And that automatically turns them back to the lead. If you ride up their side to do that, they all turn and look at you and it stops their movement. So by going straight out like this, you're, you're directing the front without changing the movement, the flow of the cattle. And I'm kind of after riding in front of Lauren here a little bit, but this is just for the purpose. So El Toro Jr. is going to go find something to fight. So I got to come clear out here. So you can keep those going. And I'll, I'll be out here directing Junior, the little bull that thinks he could. So I have to go fix him because he thinks he's tough. And when you see this longhorn bull that he's going <laughs> to get mad at. <laughs> Good. Now they're going to see these other cattle down here. And what we got to do is we got to go through these longhorns and uh, to the corral. Here comes the other bull. So this will, we'll see what happens here. Now we got our, our draw again so I can get on out wide. Got our drive started again. And we just keep, Lauren's job, just keep them flowing. Just riding back and forth and keep them moving. And I'll be more the director. <coughs> I'm making the first move in the, che the checkers game. Now when these other cattle come up, see now we got a big lead. Other cattle. 